Hello and welcome to the video on a very, very, very important concept called statistically significant. And I write it right there. This is very, this is a very important concept. Okay, so let's just um, read the definition here and see if we can make sense of it. When differences in the measured response variables of two treatment groups are so large that it could not be due to just randomization alone. The difference is statistically significant and must have been caused by the treatments itself. Assuming your experiment was performed correctly in the first place. So let's talk about this and uh, get an idea. Later in the year, you're going to be using this a whole bunch. And we'll have specific ways to determine if the differences are statistically significant or not. Okay, so let's go back to our Tylenol example. I have a hundred people and I gave Tylenol to these and I gave a placebo here. Okay, so this would be a double blind again. Double blind. Okay, and like I said earlier, it's a one to ten. So, but to be in this experiment, these hundred people already have a 10 out of 10. Okay, that's the requirement to be in the study. You have to have a 10 out of 10 headache already, the worst of the worst. Okay, so I randomly give 50 people Tylenol and I randomly give 50 people placebo. Okay, as you can see, my daughter's calling me. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm back. So let's go over this again. We have the 50 that got Tylenol and the 50 that got a placebo. To be in this experiment, you had to have a 10 out of 10, um, the worst headache of the worst headaches. You got randomly assigned. Okay, I have a control group, a placebo. So at the end of this thing, I'm going to measure. I'm going to measure the pain on a scale of 1 to 10. And I'm going to do the same thing, measure the pain on a scale of 1 to 10. So if everybody starts with the 10, just like before, um, you have 50 people here. You have 50 people. So that means you're going to have 50 data points. Okay, so I'll just make up a few. So one might be 5. Okay, one might be 10. One might be three. So to get an idea of what this actually means, what does this five means? Five mean. What does this five mean? A five means that somebody came in with a ten and they left with a five. Okay? They left with a five. Because ten minus five equals five. So what does this ten mean? Okay, this is how much their pain dropped. So if they're left with a 10, that means they went in with a 10 and they left with a 0. 10 minus 0 is 10. So they dropped. They don't have any more pain anymore. This person came in with a 10 and left with a 7. They came in with a 10 and left with a 7. So they have a 3. So I will have 50 of these. Okay, so let's say this, this one is 4. 4 comes in with a 10 and leaves with a 6. So what am I going to do with all these numbers? This is where we kind of incorporate what we learned in the past, which was this is one sample. This is a sample of data, which so I'll get the average of this. So this would be the average of the Tylenol. Average of the Tylenol. And I'll say the average of the Tylenol was a 6.4. So now, same concept. Same concept here. I have these 50 people. Now all these 50 people got th the placebo. So basically this is like, this would be measuring nothing. Okay, this would be measuring the peop this would be the population who, of people who actually didn't take anything. Okay, so we expect these numbers to be a lot lower. Okay, um, a lot lower. So let's say a zero. That means they walked in with a 10, they left with a 10. 1, 4, 
this person went down to da da da. Now I have 50 numbers here, so I'm going to get the average for the placebo. Now don't forget we're also going to have a standard deviation. We're also going to have a standard deviation. Okay? So let's say the standard deviation is 3.4, and then we'll say that the, the average here is a 2 with the standard deviation of 1.6. Okay, so now what are we looking at? What has to be statistically significant? See this number from this number. Okay, so the x bar from my Tylenol was 6.4. This was the pain decrease. The more decrease, the more evidence that it was the Tylenol. Or I shouldn't say that. The more decrease, the more the headache went away. Okay, so this is the placebo, and the placebo was 2. So what we're doing is we're getting the difference. Is Do you think this is significant? Do you think this is significant? Okay. How far apart do these need to be before you could say that, ta that, that, the, that, the, that Tylenol was better? Tylenol was better. Okay. How far of distance? For example, let me just throw some results out. Let's say Tylenol was 8 and the average of the 50 people for the placebo was 8. Do you think that these two results are statistically significant? Okay, and your answer should be no. These results are not statistically significant because they're the same. They're the same. Statistically significant would be if there's a huge difference. Okay, in this case, it's a maybe. We'd have to imply techniques that you learn later in, in the year. Okay, so let's say, let's do a quick example over here. Let's say, okay, why? Well let's check the men's SAT. Okay, let's say we're going to randomly pick 100 people for the, for the, and check their math SAT. And the, we'll check the woman's SAT and the math. And we'll say the average for these men were, um, let's say 505 and the average for the woman was 507 and the question is were the women statistically were 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 they statistically were the results statistically significant meaning that did the women score significantly higher than the men okay so the difference is only two okay so we'd have to do some statistical analysis that we'll learn later but you know just to get an idea probably not so the question is is how big how big would you think the difference would want to be okay and now the reason that this may not be let, let me let me just make this a little bit more not statistically significant. So I'll say that well, the, the women were 506 and the guys were 505. Well, this could have happened just by chance. This could have happened just by chance. And that's what this this uh, this thing right here, randomization alone. Randomization means that we expect some differences because we know that there's sampling variability from sample to sample. Okay, so so if I get 505 and I get 506, Okay, because of sampling variability, okay, the next one could be 506, and this women and the women could be 505, okay, because of sampling variability. Well, the next sample I took, the guys were uh, a little bit more than women, but the, since the results are not statistically significant, the difference is just not big enough. Okay, so hopefully you kind of have an idea of what statistically significant is. We'll definitely be using that a whole bunch at the end of the year. Okay, thanks for watching.